Welcome to God is Love Ministry 7 channel, and thank you for joining me in this study on what is grace. This is a study on Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10, which says, For by grace ye are saved through faith, and not that of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. We have been saved by grace. What does that really mean? In my early Christian walk, I heard that statement many times and read it in the Bible, but it was one of those things that, for the longest time, I didn't stop to think more in depth about what it meant. Back then, if someone had asked me exactly what grace was, I probably would have answered, Grace means that you don't have to earn your salvation, that we are saved by faith, which is absolutely correct. However, when I learned the definition of the word grace, the concept really came alive to me. Before we delve into this topic of grace, let's read Romans 10 verses 9 through 10 to see what this faith is that saves us. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So faith is believing in your heart in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. As it says in Ephesians 2.8, it is through the free gift of grace that we are saved by faith in Christ, and not by trying to earn our salvation by good works. And thank God for that, because what a lifelong struggle and failure that would be. Christ came to pay the sin debt of the world. He died in our stead, because God knew we couldn't make it on our own. Now let's get back to the word grace. If you look up grace in the dictionary, you will read something like, In Christianity, it is the free and unmerited favor of God. In addition to this, since our English New Testament of the Bible we have today is translated from a Greek manuscript, we should also take into account the original Greek word by which grace was translated and look at its meaning. Grace is translated from the Greek word charis and is defined in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible as the divine influence upon the heart and its reflection in the life. And it can also be translated as benefit, favor, gift. This is big. Now that we have this information under our hats, we can get a deeper understanding of what this wonderful grace by which we are saved is. Let's do a recap. Since salvation is not earned by works and grace means favor, the grace of God is the unmerited or undeserved and unearned favor that he bestowed upon us. Favor is acceptance and kindness beyond what is due. The word grace can also be translated as benefit, and indeed, when we believe, we receive a great benefit, eternal life. Grace is a gift from God to those who believe. A gift is something that is given at no cost to the recipient. All the recipient is required to do is accept it. The gift is offered to the world, according to John 3.16, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. However, only those who will reach out to accept the gift by believing will have this eternal life. And lastly, grace is the divine influence upon the heart and is reflection in the life. Let's look more into this one. Strong's definition of the Greek word charis, which is translated as grace in our Bible, can be understood by comparing it with the context of Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 10. And we must look at these three verses in their context because we can't lose sight of the fact that although God's grace influences our heart and reflects in our life, it is not by our own achievements, but by what Christ accomplished for us. The context teaches us that we do not earn nor do we sustain our salvation by our good works, but that good works are part of God's plan for us nonetheless. Therefore, the context of Ephesians 2 8 through 10, not only says that grace is a free gift by faith, 
But verse 10 says that we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto or to do good works, which were before ordained or planned in advance according to God's will, that we should walk in them or that we should do them. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. So this, along with Ephesians 2, 8 through 10, means that when we put our faith in Jesus Christ, we are a new creation created in Christ unto good works, meaning we receive a new nature, one that serves God by the good works that he planned and intended us for us to do. Thus, grace is the divine influence or transformation in our hearts, and it results in a reflection in our life by which we act upon that new nature doing the works that God intended for us to do. Why must we become a new creation or a new nature to do the works of God according to his purpose? Well, first of all, we cannot become a new creation or have a godly nature without faith in Christ. According to Galatians 5, 16 through 25, there are two natures. The first nature, which we are born into, is the sinful nature, by which those who are without faith build their lives upon gratifying the desires of their flesh. The second is the spiritual nature that we receive when we put our faith in Christ. Because when we believe, we receive Holy Spirit, according to Ephesians 1.13. Galatians 5.17 says that these two natures are in conflict with each other. And according to Romans 8.7-8, the sinful nature is hostile toward God and cannot please him. Hebrews 11.6 says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Therefore, a new nature created in Christ is a requirement to do the works of God. In John 6, 29, Jesus said, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Therefore, God bestows his grace upon us when we accept his free gift of salvation by believing in his Son. And through his grace, we become a new creation in Christ, which produces good works that are a result of this transforming faith. Simply put, our salvation is not a result of our good works, but our good works are a result of our salvation. God bless you and Maranatha, friends.